good hour of Shabbos. This week's Parsha, we read Parsha's Kaldos, and the <coughs> patriarchs and matriarchs continue with the lineage going from Yitzchak and Rivka to they give birth, Rivka gives birth to two uh, twins, a set of twins rather, Yaakov and Esau. And ready from a young age, they have two uh, paths that they embark upon. It says in the Torah that he, um, Esav uh, Ishtzayed, Esav was a hunter. He was involved in uh, not positive endeavors, shall we say, and Yaakov Ishtam Yosheh Vahol. Yaakov was a studious, pious, and he uh, dwelled in the tents. And, and um, what's troubling is, the Torah says about Yitzchak, it says that Yitzchak uh, loved Esau. Yehav Yitzchak, as Esau Kitzai, the fifth. Yitzchak would hunt and he would um, bring the prize of his hunting to uh, his father. And, uh, yet, and he was beloved by his father because of that. And this is Rivka, Heaven says Yaakov. Rivka loved Yaakov. Now, the fact that Rivka loved Yaakov makes a lot of sense. I mean, he was going within the family tradition, being righteous, being devout, being pious. On the other hand, Esau is not going in the family's tradition, trajectory. Esau is going in the path of uh, rebelliousness. Esau is following a path that's contrary to the values of Abraham and Yitzhak. So why would uh, Yitzchak love Esau? So there's this, this idea that I saw mentioned in the Malvin, I want to share with you because it's a powerful idea. And that is that, that what Yitzchak saw in the, in, in, in the upbringing of Esau is Yitzchak saw potential. Of course, Yitzchak recognized that Esau was not going to become a scholar. He recognized that that wasn't his, his destiny in life. And that was going to be okay. Not everyone is destined to be a scholar. But he thought Yitzchak, he thought Yitzchak thought that perhaps Esau can be uh, somebody, he can be a professional that would assist Yaakov in his scholarly pursuits. Not unlike the relationship that um, his own children, Yaakov's own children, Yitzchak and Zebulun would one day have. Yitzchak, the scholar, was assisted by Zebulun, the businessman, the merchant. And Yitzchak, the scholar, a study and the Zvulun, the merchant, supported him. And then in turn, Zvulun, the merchant, received uh, uh, some of the reward of Yusufar's studies. So that was the ideal relationship that Yitzchak envisioned between his two sons, Yaakov and Esau. Yaakov would be the scholar, and Esau would be the, the business partner, so to speak, the one that would support Yaakov as an endeavors. He held out with this potential that that Esau's potential was going to be realized one day. But the reality with potential is that unless it's harnessed to actions, it remains just potential. And that's what ended up happening with Esau. The sad story with Esau was his potential was not realized because he did not work on himself. And he did not harness his potential to action. So as we study and review the Parsha of Toldos. Let, us that, let that be a stark reminder to all of us. We're created with so much potential. And we see that potential just remains that when it's not harnessed into action. Wish you all a good Arab Shabbos.